stop of the puck, and then we're set to get underway. Loyola Maroon and Lake Forest, we're up at Lake Forest. Uh, been a while since we've been up in this rink. Last time we were here has got to be about 21 years ago. Over on the far side. Now into the slot, picked up, brought over here to the near side. And the scouts at their own defense back over here to the near side. Last time we were here, some pretty good uh, hockey on the part of the Lake Forest scouts. They've fallen out the hard times a little bit. We play a little bit of, I uh, want to play it. Highlights as we have an icing call here. Uh, I want to play a highlights uh, piece on uh, superstar player Lake Forest had back in, graduated in 91. Drafted right out of high school in the NHL amateur draft, played at Michigan State. So some of the stuff that he did back in those days. We'll do that at one of the, these uh, period breaks. Into the zone, the shot and deflected wide over to the far corner. They have fixed up this place, but uh, the lighting's still pretty bad. Over on that far side. And now brought over here to the near side. Loyola has brought up a bunch of players. Uh, we've got, uh, Loyola's got a problem with uh, so many of the players out for fall sports, so they have moved players around a little bit. Scouts into the zone and had his pocket pick back out to center ice. And the scouts sent it back in, long shot. Back up top, and that went wide. Out to center ice. Uh, over here on the near side. Picked up and flipped in deep. Back behind the goal line, just underway, first period. Over to the far side. And as they got it into the zone, it was a delay offside. And the Ramblers bring it up. Flipped in deep. Loyola Maroon and Lake Forest. Into the zone again. Back behind the goal line. Sent over to the far side. Out. Ahead and couldn't get it into the zone. At center ice, right along the blue line, it trickles into the zone and brought over here to the near side. And now flipped in deep. On that far side, they push it along up to the high slot, the big blaster that ran into traffic. On the far side, the shot. And again, a lot of sticky wickets in the way. And flipped out to center ice. Ramblers will wait to tag up. In the meantime, the scouts send it back to the blue line. Cross the red line into the zone, and then the Ramblers will make a line change. Scouts control. Out ahead. Into the zone, the shot, the save, got a little piece of it, directed to the near corner. They battle for it there. And out the center right. None of these rinks have any great sight lines. Part of the problem with smaller ranks is you just don't get the same sight lines you do in some of the larger places, although they have really fixed this place up. Used to be wooden stands and rickety wooden stands, and now they've got uh, stadium seating. On the side, cleared out. 
And broken away to the corner. And they push it along there. Two-man ref system. Back deep. Over to the far side. Out ahead. And sent all the way in. Turned out to be a long shot on goal. On that far side again and cleared ahead. Here come the scouts out of their defensive zone. Lost the handle crossing the blue line. And battle for it there. And now flipped in deep. Put to the far corner. Up top. And turned out to be a long shot on goal. Grabbed and held on. A face off. Picked up. Back into the zone. Looking for a place to go with it. Up top. A shot right into traffic. And they battle for it there. Cleared out to center ice. Trying to go point to point. And we lose the puck and gain a face off. Back deep. Over here to the near side, up to the point, held in the zone. Back behind the goal line. And here come the scouts again up the ice. The blaster ran into traffic. To the far side. Up top. And a shot, whoa, band on that one a little bit. Now back into the zone, the shot, the save. Over to the near side. And up ahead, and again, the Rambler's going to make a line change. Well, all the Maroon and Lake Forest. We're on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Tried to get it into the zone, couldn't do so. Now back over here to the near side. Hit to the far. Got it into the zone. They battle for it there. And out to the point and out beyond the point. Picked up by the scouts over to the far side. And behind the goal line. Straight ahead. Drop past it. Uh, kept it in briefly, and then the Ramblers come up with it and backhand it in deep. First period action. No score in this one. Up on the point. The big blaster ran into traffic. And looking for something to do with it. All the way through to the near side. Poked away. And cleared out ahead. Ramblers into the zone. Dropped past it. Put back behind the goal line. Our first Loyola Maroon game. We'll have a couple of them. Not sure exactly how many yet. Over here on the near side. Here on the network. By the way, check us out on YouTube. We've got lots of 
sports action on YouTube now. And all the Loyola hockey games we do in 2012-13 will be on YouTube. You know, you can, the world, you know, entire world can hear us make fools of ourselves. Over on the far side, and left at the blue line. One of the problems is, is that I don't get rosters, so it's a little tough to... And, of course, the roster for Loyola isn't the roster that's up on the... on the page because uh, of the change of teams based on uh, the, the football players, etc. What basically happened is the gold team uh, has a lot of players that are out on football. So with the gold team having players out on football, they brought maroon players up to the gold team and JV players up to maroon. And I have no idea who's who. So. Into the zone, the shot that boomed wide to the far side. Put in deep back behind the goal line. And rotating around, looking for some help. That, that was caused by indecision on the part of the defenseman there. And they'll try again. Right into the slot, turn around with just a little wide. top and they lost the puck again the face off into the zone not down on the near side boards played out ahead picked up by the ramblers they bring it back the other way the long shot right into traffic and again up top bounce around a little bit back over here to the near side and heavy check okay. this will land the stop at the play that's a penalty oh charging against the ramblers See if I can figure out who that is. I cannot. That's one of the JV players. Over here on the near side. Got it into the zone. Deep in the corner, back up the top. The shot. Nope, couldn't get it. Along the boards. And deflected out to center ice. Put to the far side. And now sent the length. To the far side, into the zone. The big shot, the save, grabbed and held on. And we lose the puck, ball. Do it all over again. Cleared to center ice. Waiting to get on side and didn't wait long enough. Less than a minute to go in the first period. On the far side now into the zone. The big shot to save. around to the far side. And 
cleared to center ice and all the way down. Picked up by the scouts. Put to the far side and both players overskated it. Looking for the breakaway, couldn't get it. Shallow angle went wide as a horn sounds into the first period. And the end of the first period of play, no score. Here on the Metro Chicago Sports Net Network between Loyola Maroon and Lake Forest. Well, uh, Scott Dean, uh, number 17 there. Uh, watch uh, Scott doing some of the things that he does. Uh, did. Uh, one of the great players uh, that ever played high school sports in high school hockey. Just uh, big, strong, physical. Could shoot, pass, and his speed, boy, once he set his mind to play in the game, there's just no one was going to take the puck away from him. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Uh, played for Lake Forest, uh, graduated in 91, and the... A great player. Uh, like we said, drafted in the NHL amateur draft right out of high school hockey in Illinois. And uh, played for Michigan State for a couple of years and uh, had some issues and gave it up. So... Uh, if you if you can, uh, when we on our YouTube, we told you about stuff that's on YouTube. Uh, check out the hockey games from Lake Forest from ninety uh, ninety and ninety one. Nine, yeah, I think eighty nine, ninety, and ninety one. I got some great stuff there. Uh, just what he could do. I just watch this. Boom. <laughs> like, try and stop him. Yeah, that, that's... I think this is the Lake Forest... Yeah, the Lake Forest Loyola game for the uh, championship of the Metro North and Scott scored four goals in that game. And uh, scored four goals and uh, just a dominating presence. I know that one's up that's uh, from February of 1990. So give it a shot. Um, but just wanted to show you uh, what Lake Forest has had in the past. One of the great all-time great hockey players that ever played high school hockey in Illinois. Here, here's a game from a game from uh, this rink. Uh, and we'll be back in just a moment for the Lake Forest Loyola Maroon game. Yeah, the Metro Chicago Sports Network, now seen on YouTube. There's those uh, 
couple of games with Scott there, the second two, the Lake Forest, Glenbrook North, uh, Lake Forest, Loyola game. That is the game I was talking about, a fantastic hockey game. Uh, Lake Forest, Glenbrook South, that's another one from uh, with Scott playing at just some of the great games. I mean, the, he, he was such a presence. Anyway, check us out on YouTube. We've got all kinds of sports stuff up there. And uh, all you got to do on your web browser, go to videos and type in the uh, uh, type in who you want to see, the teams you want to see, and we've got them up there. Uh, got a great Loyola New Trier State Championship game from uh, not the United Center, yeah, United Center, and a Loyola victory for state champion that's up there. So just some of the stuff that's available on YouTube in addition to our current season stuff. So check us out. And just a reminder to all our parents and athletes, live life responsibly and sober. You'll have a lot more fun and enjoy life a lot more. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. And we're set to start the second period of this one, Loyola Maroon and Lake. For us, no score. Over here on the near side, and cleared ahead and overlet, but uh, apparently deflected because there's no icing. And sent back the other way. This time it is icing against Loyola. Up top, over to the far side, picked up and I'll push it around a little bit. Metro Chicago Sports Network. About 350,000 cable subscribers in the north and northwest suburb. Now on YouTube as well, so we are seen worldwide. Up top, the long shot, that boomed wide. Picked up. And under lead on the pass, and is that going to be icing? No. To the near side. And cleared all the way back in from Rambler in. The Ramblers get it out to center ice. They scrum it along there. Put to the far side. Now back behind the goal, over here to the near side, cleared out to center ice. And flip right back into the zone by the Ramblers. Now they'll scum it along in that corner. Outlet pass ahead, and all the way down, and that's icing. They move it along a little bit. To the near side, out to center ice. And flipped into the zone. Go to the back side and couldn't pull the trigger. Deep in the corner, back behind the goal line. Over here to the near side, the shot. Nope, not much there. They battle for it. Centered and pulled through the slot and the scouts busted out of the zone into the Rambler end. Tried to split the defense and couldn't do so. Back behind the goal line and cleared. And that's icing. Second period action.
up top. And a shot grabbed and held on. Shot attempt again. Right over here to the near side. Back behind the goal line. And cleared. Bouncing around a little bit. The shot ran into traffic. And a hand pass, I believe. Yes, and pass against Loyola. Maroon with the puck. Along the boards and the Ramblers try to get it out of the zone. They did so. On the near side. Stop, look for help. Tried to center it all the way through to the far side. There wasn't anybody really gliding up the slot there. There's a shot, the save, rebound. And I think the sticky wickets in the front got in the way. There's a long shot in the safe. Save to the far side. Put in deep back behind the goal line. The Lake Forest uh, coach, he's a former Metro North player. And we've got a penalty coming up for interference. The uh, John Murphy played on those great Deerfield teams of the late 70s. And then uh, he, he knew Scott, Scott Dean, uh, who we showed you the highlights there at the end of the first period. Back in deep. Well, Scott was a legend. Everybody <laughs> knew him. He's just one of those people that just. Everyone wanted to be around. And we got a penalty coming up. And the Ram was going to be down two men. Picked up and uh, take that back. Both sides down a man. We'll skate four on four. On the far side. And lost it into the bench. Flipped in deep. Wrapped around to the near side. Back behind the goal line. They battled for it there. Up to the point. To the far side. back by that goal line. Not much there. Throwing it along. And in the corner. Back up top. And all the way back in the zone. Cleared out for center ice. Look back in deep. Put to the near side and broken away. In the corner. Uh, the Ramblers.
Take it away. Put it back in deep. Over here to the near side. Held in the zone. Back in. Back behind the goal line. And picked up by the scouts. Wake Forest brings it out. Into the zone and right back out. Back the other way. Come the Ramblers. The shot ran into sticky wickets out front. Sent over to the far side. Out to center right. To the near side. And deep, and that was an offside. Well played with a high stick, I think that was offside. I'm calling it deliberate offside. Over on the far side. Cleared ahead and all the way deep. And that was icing. Out at the point, the shot, the save to the near side. Six minutes left to play here in the second period. Into the zone on the far side, back behind the goal line. And we got a penalty coming up. Minor for interference, I believe. Knocked him down without the puck. That would make sense to me, but you never know what they're going to call. A penalty is a penalty, so I, you know, it might be an elbow, might be interference. We're on the far side. And we do have another penalty coming up. On Lake Forest. And the whistle stops play. For a cross check. And he hit him into the boards. And the stick up. So the Rambos with the two-man advantage here. On the side, back out high, the long shot, grabbed and held on. And the whistle stops play. The draw up top, back to the wing. Back out high. Over to the Right point, back to the left. Would be to the left wing, back to the high slot. To the wing. And Ramblers put it back up top. A lot of moving around, but not getting shots. And cleared it. And back into the Ramblers' end. They'll have to regroup it. Walk straight ahead up the ice, drop the pass. The shot is saved. And clear back out. Put back in. And just a few seconds left on that first minor. Less than a minute left on the second one. Back behind the goal line. Over here to the near side. And the shot goes wide. Back and over here to the near side. Back to the far. Not high. The shot that boomed wide. And we're down to just one penalty left on the board. And about three minutes 
left to play here in the second period. No score, Loyola, Maroon, and Lake Forest out ahead. Bouncing around a little bit. Put to the near side. Back behind the goal line. Over to the far side. Back over here to the near. Outlet pass, got a breakaway. In, shot to save. And back comes the scout. Bouncing around. The shot, nope. And a whistle. And a penalty for hooking. And exactly two minutes left to play here in the period. Minor for hooking. There's a shot and save. Uh, it looked like that was probably going wide, though. Now, they move it along a little bit. Up top. Down the man goes. He's got another penalty coming up. This one on the Ramblers. And the Ramblers going to be two down. Line for tripping. And so Loyola going to finish off this period. We're down two. There's a shot and a save. That's assuming the scouts don't score here. There's a shot that ran into traffic over here to the near side. Picked up. Tried to shoot through the screen of Sticky Wickets in front and couldn't get it. There's a shot and hatched underneath him and the save. Now picked up and cleared as there's a minute left in the period. Back behind the goal line to the far side. Spread it out. Back behind the goal. And cleared. No scouts. Drop past it. Over to the wing. And we lose the puck and gain a face-off. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Glad to have you uh, wherever you're watching us. A big blaster and grabbed an L9. They shot from high slot. Try again. Right off the face-off. Grabbed an L9. Off to the point, now beyond the blue line. Scouts will have to wait for the onside, drop past it. Uh, and along the boards. Looking for some place to go with it, but instead the horn sounds ending the period. At the end of the second period of play, the score remains. Loyola Maroon, nothing, and Lake Forest, nothing, and we'll be back with more on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. The Metro Chicago Sports Network is now seen on the Internet. Check us out. Uh, great games of the past, in addition to our current 2012-2013 season. So, by all means, check out uh, the Internet. And for those of you who would like to catch the games that way, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Just a reminder that in the state of Illinois, texting while driving 
is illegal. Please. Distracted driving costs lives. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. And we've started the third period of this one. Randler still killing a penalty. Picked up and cleared back out the center ice. Over to the far side. Flip back in deep. On the near side, boards out to the point. Held in the zone by the scouts. Looking for a place to go with it. And all the way down. And that's icing. On the near side board, now cleared ahead, put to the far side, now flipped into the zone. And all the way down. Wrapped around to the near side. Back behind the goal line. Looking for a place to go with it, couldn't find anything. Out ahead and cleared ahead and flipped back out and back in with the delay offside. Scouts on the far side. Out ahead. Missed connections and brought back in for the offside. On the near side now, flipped back into the zone, wrapped around to the far side. Looking for a place to go with it. On the near side, boards deep to the corner. To the far side and a little indecision. Somewhere to go with it. Cleared night out. Back into the slot. And now sent the length of the ice. That's going to be icing against Lake Forest. The draw. On the far side. This is one of the rinks where they put in the netting to protect the fans ever since the incident at uh, Columbus and the Blue Jackets game where a little girl got killed by a puck shot out of the rink. And now uh, insurance companies suggest protecting the fans putting up protective netting. The shot boomed wide. Of course, I've done over 17, well, close to 17,000 hockey games in my life. And out of those 17,000 hockey games, I've only been hit twice. Both of them back at the scorer's table. Once in the days before they had... Uh, any protective glass in front of the scorer's table. I mean, that's how long ago that was. To the far side. Back over here to the near. And deflected deep to the corner. Bouncing around a little bit. Out ahead. Put to the far side. Bouncing around a little bit. The shot to save. Right into the slot. Oh, great save. Grabbed and held on. On the near side boards. We didn't get an ice resurface in this game. The Zamboni, the ice resurfacer here. Uh, battery went dead. On the side. Now picked up back behind the goal line. Put back deep into the zone. In the corner. They push it along. And a whistle stops the play. Ramblers get it out to center ice. Loyola Maroon and Lake Forest. No score. Third period. The layoff side and the scouts control. Out ahead. 
by O.R. Into the zone. And the shot wide. Far side. And after they scrum it along the boards a little bit, scouts of Lake Forest out ahead. And underled the pass. Back into the zone. They shot. They saved. Grabbed and held on. As we're just under 10 minutes left to play in the third period. Deep in the corner. Now out to center ice and out beyond the blue line and flip right back in deep. And again cleared out ahead. Back the other way. Centering attempt, that didn't quite work. Now back into the zone. He shot all the way through everything. Wrapped around to the far side. Cleared to center ice. Back into the zone. And flipped to the corner. They battled for it along the boards there, out to the point. The big blaster, and that boomed wide. To the near side, and again back behind the goal line. Cleared out ahead. And flipped in deep. Shot ran into traffic. Long shot to save. And that's icing. Long shot and the save on the near side. Overlight on the pass into the zone. Bring it out. Back to the blue line. A red line, rather. Now to the blue line. And the scouts. Now the Ramblers pick it up. Avoid the check. Look for the man on the back door and underled the pass. On the near side. And cleared ahead. And all the way down into the zone. The shot, long shot to save. We were talking earlier about Scott Dean. I saw him in a game here take a shot from beyond the blue line. With, uh, with his whole back into it. And he just... He nailed that shot. I pity that poor goalie. That goalie never did see that puck. It just went right by him. And a penalty coming up. A minor for tripping. At 6.51 left to play in the third period. Bob Race was the goalie for Glumbrook North. Scholastic Cup playoff game in the Metro League. Into the zone. Back to the point, back to the wing. Back up top, foot to the near side. And then sent all the way deep. Here come the Loyola Ramblers, Maroon, into the zone. They've got the player advantage. And attempt at a shot, and then to try to sweep it around the man, and neither one of them worked. Right into the slot, knocked away, try again, ricocheted around a little bit, pinball action, and cleared out. 
And all the way down. Goalie will just gather it in and stop the play. I don't know why he did that. Not a very smart move. Back the other way. Out to the point. Ramblers try to get the shot, couldn't do it, up to a high slot. Into the traffic and cleared. Long outlet pass, flipped into his zone. To the far side. And now picked up by the scouts. The Ramblers get it back into the zone. The shot, the save. And held line with seven seconds left on the minor. And just a little under five minutes left to go here in the third period. And you're trying to freeze it there. You can't do that. Unless you want to delay a game. Now the man just out of the uh, penalty box. Brought it in and took the shot. Back the other way. Far side, the big blaster, no. There's on the scouts. Uh, on the far side. Over here to the near. Uh, kind of sits there for a moment. Off the center ice. Two on one break for the Ramblers. Into the zone. Took the shot, the save. That is something that I see a lot of high school players do. They get that uh, break like that and don't even look for the man on the other side. Uh, into the slot and the scouts get it out. Picked up, coming back. Right into the zone, spreading it out. Flick to the far side. And the Ramblers will dump it in and finish off a line change. And the clock ticks under three minutes. Now picked up and ricochets over to the far side and out to center ice. And all the way down, that's icing. Top to the wing and grabbed and held on. Yeah, we're working on a double shutout here. Out the center ice and over to the far side. the near side. Back. Up ahead. Now picked up by the Ramblers over here to the near side. Tried to split the defense and nothing doing and actually a whistle and a stoppage to play a delay offside and no tag up. All the way deep in the zone. Taken to the far side. Out ahead. Drop bass. Kept in the zone. 
Walls wear down to about a minute and change left to play in the third period. Ramblers with it. Up ahead. Picked up. Spread it out. And scouts of Lake Forest take it back to the near side. And the man goes. And there's three on one. A shot and shot at wide. Back behind the goal line. Center. Try again and shot it wide. High and wide. And it's a three on one break the other way. And the shot ran into traffic out front. Out to center ice. And then flip back in, and we're going to end in a double shutout. A 0 0 game between Loyola Maroon and Lake Forest. Well, a double shutout for tonight. Loyola Maroon and Lake Forest. That begins our broadcast coverage of Loyola Maroon this year. Stick around for more sports action on the Metro Chicago Sports Network all during the season. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, so long, everybody. <laughs>